Okay, so hello everyone, and uh, thanks for being here. This is Julien Béranger, Head of Communications at iExec, and I'm Wassim Bendela. I work as a business developer. And uh, today we're both very happy to be here on stage to talk about iExec, a startup that is uh, building a blockchain-based decentralized marketplace for cloud resources. And uh, just to have an idea, who in this room has already heard of iExec? If you can just please raise hands. All right, so, so quite, a, quite a lot. Uh, and uh, for those who haven't, well, I hope that by the end of this talk, you'll find it just as exciting as, uh, as we do. So uh, as you all know, Ethereum is a, is a blockchain that allows developers to build and deploy decentralized applications. And uh, Ethereum is so innovative because it made smart contracts possible. And this has gathered a big community of developers and nurtured innovation so much that today we count over 1,000 dApps running on Ethereum. The smart contracts of these dApps are stored on the Ethereum blockchain, and Ethereum's virtual machine is responsible for their execution. Virtual machine, of course, I mean the miners and, uh, and the validators. But while Ethereum's virtual machine is, is excellent for simple transactions and business logic, it struggles quite a lot when it comes to performing heavy computing at a reasonable cost and speed. And things will only get worse because there are a lot of projects that made an ICO recently but have not yet delivered their products and once these projects start delivering their, their, their products, the computational demand will be so high, it's very likely that Ethereum will not be able to keep up and that running intensive dApps can't cost a fortune. And this is why we see iExec as a, as a complementary brick to Ethereum technology. Why? Because iExec allows off-chain computing. And by off-chain computing, I mean the dApps need to be able to do their heavy computing off-chain, uh, so not on the Ethereum blockchain, but then bring the results back on chain for verification and validation. And iExec allows developers to do exactly this. And with uh, you know, virtual reality, artificial intelligence, or IoT all utilizing advanced smart contracts, the need for off-chain computing will only increase and become inevitable in, the, in this field. So how does iExec make to build, how does iExec make possible off-chain computing? Well, by building a, a market network for, for cloud resources. So usually we see businesses as pipes with uh, value flowing in one direction only, so from the producer to the end user. If we take the cloud industry, for example, a company like Amazon Web, Web Services flows in one direction only, so from the producer, Amazon, to the end user. And what is fundamentally different about new businesses like iExec is the way value flows. So today in the world of networks, there's a whole range of different flows between different participants. And iExec does not control this flow. It just enables it and makes it happen. So you may view iExec as a, as a matchmaking system. It's a, it's a market that's trying to have supply, meet demand to, to create some of the most valuable transactions possible. By aggregating more and more participants on the, on the supply and demand side, iExec is able to use data to filter through these sites and then make the right supply meet the right demand. So in other words, iExec owns no servers, but allow those who own servers, and in our network we call them workers, to meet those who need computing power. And this matchmaking system is orchestrated by iExec in a decentralized way. So you may ask, why do we even need a decentralized cloud marketplace for, for cloud services? Well, today the, the cloud industry is very centralized and has many, many flows inherent to its centralized nature. For example, uh, today the market is dominated by big players like Amazon or Microsoft. And since HPC infrastructures are very complex and very expensive, the barriers of entry in this market are extremely high, especially for individuals like, like you and I. And what iExec does is that it creates a global and universal market that anyone can join and transact in. So if you're a gamer, for example, you have a, a great machine, but you only play video games two hours a day, the rest of the time is just sitting there idle. With iExec, you'll be able to plug your machine in our network and make profit by monetizing its computing capacity. Uh, centralized data centers also raise some serious energy problems. For example, power and cooling in data centers cost more than the IT equipment they support. And iExec is more in favor of some eco-friendly solutions, which has led us to seal some strategic partnerships with uh, cloud providers like Steamergy, Carnot Computing, or cloud and heat. Uh, basically what these companies do is that they distribute servers throughout cities at strategic places. So these servers are running computations for external applications and this process usually is very intensive and generates a lot of heat that usually just dissipates. 
And in our case, these companies are able to recycle these heats and then use it to heat buildings, swimming pools, or, or even tap water. And uh, finally, there are service disruptions. So it happened, for example, last year to, to Amazon and has resulted in over $150 million of losses with websites like Expedia, Yahoo, or GitHub unavailable for many hours. And due to iExec's decentralized nature, we have outage-tolerant protocols that make sure that the end user will receive its result no matter what. So uh, how does blockchain fit into all of this? Well, iExec is a blockchain-based marketplace which gathers many different types of participants. We have people providing applications, people providing computing power, whether it's CPU or GPU, and people providing data sets. And uh, blockchain is particularly useful here because it allows to store and record all the transactions of value that are happening on the iExec network. And it's also the mechanism used to prove the contribution of uh, different types of participants. For example, to prove that a worker did execute the computation it was asked to, and that the result it sent is indeed accurate and trustworthy. And uh, on the iExec network, uh, our token, RLC, circulates on all of this network and links these different types of, uh, of participants. So just a few words on our token. Uh, last year in April, we iExec organized a token sale and issued RLC tokens. So RLC stands for runs on lots of computers because your computations will indeed be run on a lot of different computers. And RLC is the, the unique way to access cloud resources on the iExec marketplace. So uh, just to give you an example, if a FinTech application needs to do some intensive computing, it will be buying CPU power in RLC. And the participant that provided this CPU power will receive RLC in exchange. Uh, now, while traditional platforms like Uber or Airbnb take a 15 to 30% cut on transactions, uh, iExec does not take any fees at all. So there are 0% fees when cloud resources are traded on the iExec marketplace. And even though we're creating a lot of value with our matchmaking algorithms, we envision transactions as peer-to-peer -peer without iExec intervening in any way by taking a cut on transactions. Of course, as a crypto startup, our token is part of our business model. RLC is a utility token, and iExec does hold a reserve of it. But we also have in mind other ways of generating revenue, for example, by providing advanced final services on, on cloud resources, but we will disclose th these a bit further on our journey. Uh, so since our ICO, well, we have delivered on time what was outlined on our white paper. So last November, we released our version one. Uh, thanks to this version of iExec, decentralized applications now have a simple and practical way to reach off-chain computing resources. So for now, these resources are offered for free by iExec and are therefore centralized up until our V2 release. And actually today, we're only a few months before our V2 release, which is the most awaited component of iExec because iExec will move from centralization to decentralization. And V2 marks the release of our cloud marketplace where users will be able to launch intensive off-chain computing through a graphical interface or an API. And uh, another interesting thing to note about this version is that it will include and introduce a payment scheme. So this payment scheme will allow payments from users to providers. So for providers, whether it's cloud providers, local providers, or just individuals like you and I, this is the very beginning of doing business by monetizing our resources. And finally, after V2, there will be three more major releases that will keep us busy until 2021. Uh, these releases include advanced features for enterprises reaching true supercomputing capabilities with GPU, and finally tackling some research challenges in the fields of IoT and edge computing. And now I will let my colleague Julien go into more details about these recent releases. Okay, thanks, uh, thanks, Wasim. Hi, everyone. Uh, so, yeah, we're really excited about uh, this upcoming release of uh, the version 2. Um, people will be allowed to bid and ask for off-chain computation, and this is something we've never seen before. So, the release is planned for May this year. Uh, so, um, let me say a few words about the version 1. Uh, this is what we call the DAP Store. 
where uh, you can see all registered and available applications on the network. Um, so um, the uh, SDK is available for you to try. Uh, you can find several tutorials on Katakoda, so you have nothing to install. It takes five minutes to get the idea of how it works. Uh, so on this version, uh, you can use iExec's uh, private pool of workers for free so that you're comfortable to test things out. Um, and I also want to mention that uh, our team is available 24-7 to provide engineering su support in case if you need while you're testing the SDK. And you will see that it's uh, super easy to uh, deploy an application on iExec. And because we want to make things uh, easy for developers, uh, iExec now supports dockerized apps. Um, so right now, anyone can um, use one of those famous uh, open source applications, so TensorFlow, um, R, Blender, etc. Et so iExec I really fits the needs of um, uh, compute-intensive applications as long as they run in a batch mode, I mean in, in a, in a non-interactive mode for the moment. Um, and there will be uh, many others. We're going to launch uh, a programming bounty program uh, where we will list uh, the most wanted apps, plugins, scripts, uh, so that uh, developers can uh, directly contribute. Um, so those are sort of in-house applications in the sense that we've deployed them ourselves. But one of the most important things to keep in mind is that when a smart contract needs to launch some off-chain computation, then iExec is the solution you want to check. So now let's have a look at uh, what other developers in the community came up with. Um, so 15 new applications are currently developing uh, with iExec. Uh, we launched uh, what we call the DAB challenge to support the development of those uh, apps. Um, so we were uh, so we had 40 candidates, uh, which is extremely already extremely uh, encouraging from an from an adoption standpoint. Um, so the jury selected 15 projects uh, on the basis of uh, innovation, impact, feasibility, and background of the team. And uh, so now they're sharing uh, the equivalent of uh, 150 thousand uh, dollars. We were uh, really impressed by the quality and diversity of projects. So we had projects in uh, AI, uh, data analysis, supply chains, gaming, um, um, voting, and so forth. So, um, so, when, so now we're following up with those projects, uh, mainly helping them deliver their products. So I just wanted to quote uh, uh, three of them. So Cerebrum is a decentralized platform for crowdsourced machine learning. Uh, OpenMole is a computational engine for uh, custom simulation experiments, and web sensors are uh, artificial, uh, uh, artificial, artificial intelligence-based oracles for smart contracts. So I like those projects because um, they directly addressing real-life problems. So they're really good examples of uh, of what you can do with uh, uh, with iExec, and uh, you can do it too. So let's see how. Um, how to uh, deploy your application on iExec. Um, so this is, um, this is exactly what uh, Francois did uh, during the, uh, the live coding session we had here uh, in the museum. Um, so, so you would start with a, with a template that is directly usable. Uh, then uh, when you type this command iExec deploy, you have the smart contract part that goes on Ethereum and your binary files uh, go to the uh, workers network. Then the uh, this is the third step. The the mm, the user uh, joins the game. Uh, he actually pays in RLC when he submits uh, a task that is executed by the workers. And finally, the user uh, gets the result back. So that's the basic workflow for uh, a developer. Um, so. So let's have a look at the whole infrastructure we built. Um, on, the, on the left, you have things happening on-chain. So a user makes a transaction, so an interaction with a, uh, with a smart contract that we will call a work order um, that, um, that triggers the job submission process. On the right, 
um, you can see uh, you can see um, the off-gen part, off-gen part with one single pool of workers represented on this picture. Um, when the version two is out, you will have many of them, um, many of um, pools, with one scheduler per each pool. Uh, and so the scheduler basically dispatches the works to the workers, and then the result is pushed uh, on the blockchain through a set of uh, Oracle contracts uh, that plays the role of uh, the interface between the on-chain and off-chain world. And this is why we need what we call the POCO. It stands for Proof of Contribution. So this is the um, consensus protocol IEXEC uses to, to verify the result of an off-chain computation. Uh, so it relies on a mix between staking and reputation, wi which itself is based on your computation history. Um, we, uh, it, it, uh, it's going to be ready in a, in a few weeks from now. Uh, so Adrien is here. Uh, is here. So if you have, if you want to know more, if you want to know the details on on the um, on the proof of contribution, you can directly ask uh, Adrien. He already published uh, two articles about it, and the third of the series uh, will be uh, published uh, in a few days. So it's an important part of the marketplace because it will allow more workers to join the network, and until that. We're gradually opening the network to, uh, to several resource providers, like we just did with uh, Steamergy, Kernel Computing, uh, Cloud and Heat, with, uh, with which we had the very first uh, invoice priced in RLC. So, so yeah, again, we're really excited about uh, this, uh, the release of the marketplace itself, um, because it will allow the network to be fully open and accessible for everyone to participate. So some people would uh, start uh, earning some value, earning some RLC, uh, executing works, and and others uh, would start uh, make money um, with their application uh, accessible on the Dapp Store. So I cannot conclude without saying a few words about SGX. So. Um, um, so it's um, 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 yeah. So it's uh, it's uh, it's a very recent technology. Uh, it was uh, it was first released in uh, 2015. Um, so iExec is one of the most advanced uh, projects uh, in the crypto space on this specific topic. Um, and uh, I can tell you that things are moving very fast. There will be some major announcements before the end of the month, so stay tuned. Uh, and yes, it's part of the fascinating uh, uh, R&D side of the project. So, so yeah, uh, iExec will use uh, SGX enclaves uh, basically to protect the application from uh, malicious workers. Uh, it creates a bubble in which you can process uh, sensitive data and offer uh, a strong level of security to all participants of the network. So the marketplace and the proof of contribution actually works without SGX, but we want to anticipate this trend, and we're really proud to be able to share the result of those researches with the community. So uh, let's keep in touch. The website is iex.ec. Uh, we'll be celebrating the first uh, birthday of the RLC tokens uh, in April, and uh, again, the version 2 uh, release is planned for May this year. Uh, so if you want to know all the details on the uh, consensus protocol, uh, you can ask uh, Hadrian, uh, who's here, or Francois, or any of the team, we're 16 of us here. So, and if you want to, if you need more information about um, SGX, you can ask uh, Lei, who's here, uh, who's uh, in charge of uh, this part. So, um, just remember that uh, um, that now there is no limits in the design of decentralized applications. Thank you. <laughs>